Well, for more on the story, we are joined here in the studio by Galip Dalai, a research director at the Al Shark Forum. Thank you so much for joining us. First off, should this come as a surprise or is it inevitable in a war zone like this uh, that with multiple competing forces that something like this would eventually happen? Well, it's quite, uh, quite likely to happen. I mean, it's not inevitable if you have a very well coordination when it comes to the conflict. But nevertheless, given the fact that the Syrian airspace is one of the most congested in the world, where you have the competing countries or the forces that is using the same airspace, whereas like, the competing forces on the ground are fighting alongside the, the same lines against the same enemy, that is quite likely. Uh, that is a quite likely result. But nevertheless, this Russia has actually denied uh, this allegation. So we are yet to we are yet to find out what is the exact uh, nature of this uh, this uh, incident. Is it was it conducted by Russia? And if so, what will be the response of the U.S.? Are we going to see the U.S. doing a similar things to the Syrian regimes? Because we know that in June the U.S. has also targeted the Syrian regimes. Uh, which is claimed to be accidental. As you mentioned there, Moscow has denied these claims, but if the US is able to prove that uh, Russian jets were responsible, will the US have to respond in some way? Well, US, not, is, US is not going to respond to Russia. US is going to probably, like, you know, perhaps uh, respond to the Russian proxies on the ground, which is the Syrian regime. We know that the previous the US has done you has uh, you has done did something like that to the, uh, towards the Syrian regime, so it is quite likely that the U.S. might target the Syrian regime's forces because it is also uh, around the Deir Zor, and they're also trying to like capture some of the key areas as the SDP forces are doing. So therefore, yes, it is likely that the U.S. might also respond to the Syrian regimes. Let's talk a little bit about the location, Deir Zor. What what is at stake? Why is this location so important? Well, it is important because it is. Uh, it is uh, very rich with the energy uh, resources. It's one of the richest places in Syria when it comes to like energy and gas resources. And therefore, like you know, both regime and also the Syrian democratic forces are trying to have their hold onto it because it provides an economic lifeline or whoever the whichever the actors uh, is keeping it. And the other things, the second thing is the you know the connection towards the Iraq because it's a very uh, important located area. So from this perspective, both from the hydrocarbon resources, secondly from controlling the Iraqi borders as well too, the Deir Zor is important both for the regime but also given the fact that the US and the STP has been very adamant towards this target as well too, it is important for STP and the US as well. How will this development, if at all, affect Turkey's role in this conflict? Well, I don't think that this uh, incident per se will have much impact on Turkey's view or stance on the Syrian crisis. It is quite, it's not an area where Turkey has been much more adamant about it. Turkey has been more adamant on the uh, northwestern part of Syria, particularly about the Idlib provinces, about the Tal Rifat, which is, uh, you know, uh, which is uh, close to, which is uh, nearby the Afrin. So Turkey is much more right now focused on the northwestern part of the, uh, Syria rather than the eastern part of Syria. Caleb Delay, Research Director at the Al Shark Forum, thank you so much You're for welcome. coming into the studio. Thank you.